everyone, welcome. We are going to make mirrored mason jars today. And in your kit, you will have your choice of three colors of mason jars and also Krylon looking glass spray. Um, the other items that you will need to complete this project are some isopropyl alcohol and some paper towels and something to protect your work surface while you are spray painting. Okay, let's get started. For this project, we will be painting the inside of the jar with the looking glass spray, and so make sure that the inside of your jars are clean. One of the best ways to clean glass is with some isopropyl alcohol, and so what I am going to do is just pour a little bit inside the jar and just roll it around in there. It will just help get rid of any oils or grease or anything that's in there. That might stop the paint from adhering to the sides. And then whatever extras in there, I'll just keep pouring into the next jar. And then just make sure to let these drain. The alcohol will evaporate but just make sure that the inside of the jar is completely dry before you start adding paint to it. Okay, I have taped off the top of the jar and we are going to be spraying the looking glass spray inside of the jar. The reason why you wanna do it inside is because um, the actual surface that you spray the looking glass paint onto is kind of a dull, chrome color, it's the opposite side that shows through the glass that gives you that mirrored image. And so what we're going to do is make sure that you're spraying this in a well ventilated area or outdoors and just do a couple of spurts inside the jar. And we just want some thin coats and then just kind of turn the jar around. And once that's dried, you can spray a couple more in there. What's going to happen at the beginning is you're going to see um, possibly a few drips and runs inside the jar. And so as you spray a few more coats, it's going to cover that up. So sometimes I'll even just tip the jar um, to get the drips to move around a little bit. So do this to all your jars. You can work on all three of them at a time. I want to show you what this is starting to look like with just, oh, I don't know, maybe three, three coats inside. You can still see that there are a few little drips showing and it's still a little bit transparent but hopefully you'll be able to tell that it's starting to work. All right, I have all of the layers of the paint sprayed inside the jars that I'm going to do. And I really love how these turn out. I think it is so fun how they each look so different depending on the color of the jar. The last step is just to remove the painter's tape from the top of the jar. Now, there's a few things that you need to be careful of with these jars. Do not put water inside. You could display artificial flowers in them, but I would also protect the inside finish with a paper cup inside. But you could decorate these with some vintage looking lids or some artificial flowers or anything like that. They would be darling for so many project. Oh, I wanted to show you a coral jar that I did as well and how it turned out. I think they're just all so pretty. It's hard to choose my favorite color. But anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this project and I hope that you'll join me again.